It's that pastoral question, if you come in for pastoral care with me over and over again, I usually am going to ask you at some point, what do you want? What do you want? And that question for so many of us is, I don't know. But David can answer that question. What does he want? The Lord. And that's the integrity he's talking about. Why can he claim this? He says, because I've trusted you, Lord, without wavering. I've trusted you, Lord, without wavering. In other words, David, gripped in the faith of Yahweh, knows that when he sins, he is moving away from the God that he trusts. In other words, David is not questioning God's love. He's not questioning God faithfulness. He's not questioning God's grace or mercy or forgiveness. David, if anything, is coming before the Lord and is questioning his own devotion, not God's. How do we know? We'll keep going. He says, prove me, O Lord. In other words, test me, try me, test my heart, my mind. In other words, put me to the test. Bring, run me through the ringer. How do we get run through the ringer of life? And the answer is suffering. Put me in the hard places of life and see, Lord, if I do not maintain my wholehearted devotion, my wholehearted trust in you. It's a dangerous prayer that David is offering here. And I would caution you that if you are going to pray Psalm 26 and you are going to lift up this prayer to the Lord, it is something that the Lord will do. If you do not want to be tested in your faith and tested in your devotion and tested in your integrity, leave Psalm 26 on the shelf. Because David is saying to the Lord, he is saying to the Lord, you get to do what you want with me because I will not waver in my trust of you. 